everyone. My name's Amy and I'm a librarian in the Popular Materials Department of the Clinton Macomb Public Library. And today I am going to show you how to sign up for OverDrive and some of the features that are available when you do. I know we have written instructions for a lot of these things, but I am a visual learner and I thought some of you might be as well and it might be easier for you to see what to do as opposed to read what to do. So um, we are going to go to the library's homepage, which is right here, and uh, cmpl.org. And if you're signing up for any of our digital services um, through a computer or your PC, um, you're going to go right here to this middle tab which is conveniently called digital downloads. And we have various ones that you can choose from. OverDrive, which is eBooks and e-audiobooks. Cloud Library, also eBooks and e-audiobooks. Hoopla is streaming media. RB Digital is online magazines. Freegal is downloadable music. And uh, BookFlix is eBooks for children. But today we're gonna focus on OverDrive, which is the icon in the top left. So you would click it. And if you have never uh, signed into OverDrive before, let me get my picture out of the way, you'll simply go to the sign in button and you would choose your home library. So for us, that would be Clinton Macomb Public Library. But if you are a member of another library in the Suburban Library Cooperative, um, you would choose whatever your home library is. For Clinton Macomb residents, you would choose us and then you would put in your library card number. Um, I'm using a fake one, but that's okay. And then you would just click sign in. We have eliminated the need for a PIN number right now um, while we are all stuck at home, but typically you would also have to put in your PIN number to log in, which is the last four digits of whatever phone number the library has on record. Then, once you're logged in, you see what our just added titles are, you see book lists that we've created, or the Suburban Library Cooperative has created, our book club books are books that we've used in several of our books clubs over the past few months, our April hot reads are available, which are usually available on our hot reads table at the main library. Um, if you're not interested in any of that, you can simply go to the search feature and type in a title or author that you are interested in. Uh, it guessed what I was looking for. So then you just click that and it tells you what is available. So our copies of both the ebook and the e-audio book are currently checked out, but here it tells you that you can place a hold on them. Now, when we, let me get my picture out of the way here, when we go back to the home page, uh, a couple of other nice features is that you can search by collection, you can search by subject, you can search simply for Kindle books. One of the features that I like to use because I have a seven-year-old is to choose the kids tab and it will take me straight to material that's appropriate for uh, young children. Again, we have book lists that are created for you to browse through or you could just search um, in the typical fashion right here. The same is true for teens and young adults. You can browse those um, collections just as easily and narrow your search that way, which is a nice feature for um, kids and teens to not have to wade through adult material that might be inappropriate. Another excellent thing to be conscious of in OverDrive is that we have partnered with other library cooperatives. So if you go up here to partner libraries, you can also search the Lakeland Library Cooperative and the Midwest Collaborative for Library Services, which offers you um, even more content that you may um, want to read or listen to uh, during these strange, strange times. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Those are just a couple of tips for you to think about if you're interested in eBooks or e-audiobooks. Um, OverDrive also does have an app called Libby. If you were to sign up on the computer, you could then sign in the same way on the Libby app and access all of the materials that way as well. I hope this was helpful and everyone is staying home and staying selfie or selfie, <laughs> staying healthy, and we can't wait to see you soon.